Alright, so the next mission that we're going to do is the base defense mission. Enemy reinforcements have been dispatched to the underground passage at the U.S. missile base. They must not be allowed to enter the control tower while Snake is there. Defend this position. Do whatever it takes to prevent the enemy from breaking through. Let's get this started. So, like the last base defense mission we did in the banana plantation, we don't need any lethal weapons. What we got right here is good enough. Let's get it started. Neutralize all enemy attackers. I probably shouldn't have that damn Sonic eye on. But this base defense mission gives you a lot more cover than the last one did. You got the cover of this area where we were fighting the helicopter on. And you gotta take these guys out. These guys are taking a lot of bullets. So we got this base over here, one in the middle, and one on this far side. Looks like this guy is trying to get up in it. Not gonna let this guy capture any bases. So we can try to get that S rank this time. We did get an A rank on that last base defense mission. Looks like these guys got machine guns and assault rifles. But I don't want them getting close on me. There's less enemies in this area. So this mission should, in theory, go by faster. I want this motherfucker to move up and stop taking pot shots at me. I'm behind the damn container like a punk and stuff. There you go, you take your nap. Two more suckers coming in. We got eight more bullets left. And nine more enemies. Look at these fools walking in a nice little uniform line. Alright, you know what? Give me your fucking bullets. Well, you don't want to get consecutive, huh, sucker? Then you can suck the wall. You can suck the wall then. And this motherfucker's up on the turret. I'm trying to mess people up up there. Alright, so this dude on the ground level doesn't look like he's moving to any of the bases. I gotta get this fool up to Turk because he's gonna mess me up bad. Boy, squeeze it. Look at his little head shaking. Damn, we got a guy moving into one of these bases. Alright, let's see if we can take his ass out. I need bullets. Take your nap. This guy on the turret should be falling asleep any second now. You need to go to sleep. I ain't putting any tranks in your punk ass. Take your nap. What the fuck? I stopped aiming. What the hell was that? I had my hand on the button the entire time. I guess I got hit, that's why. Now it made me aim at the ground. Oh my god, it's going terribly. Alright, I'm putting the fucking sniper rifle away. It's looking ugly right here. Come up in here. I got no bullets. You need to get CQC. So it looks like the guy on the turret took his nap finally. The guy with the machine gun took his nap. And your ass is going to take your nap. You're the last sucker that needs to get it. You ain't even going to stand back up. Oh, missed. Stay your ass on the motherfucking ground. Go to sleep. Get juked up. You got the skills that pay the bills? Damn. I have Fultons, right? I have Fultons. God damn, he's got the skills. I don't have any Fultons. Fuck. I definitely should have prepared better for this mission. But it's alright, we got it done. Good job. Return to base. And we got it done in enough time to get that S rank. Three minutes, fifteen seconds. Looking good. Alright, so we really didn't do much in that mission. I know the cargo stop rocket was at 66%, so we're going to give it a couple of missions before we go back to check on it. Let's do another mission. So the next non-mech battle mission is the Dead Man's Treasure. Let's do this. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton Recovery Point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. Alright, so we're going to set this mission up a little better than we did the last one. 
because we're dealing with ghosts, the weapons don't really matter, but the equipment really does. You don't really need the sonic eye. I realize this a little too late. You can also use the soliton radar. It's level 2, so we're going to see how long this level 2 soliton radar works. I'm going to put my Fulton recovery back on. Got the rescue box, MVG. Can't use any life regen items, so we're looking good right here. Let's get this mission started. So like we saw in the last mission with the ghost in it, you can use the sonic eye to determine the position of the ghost, but you can also use the soliton radar. But like I said, the problem with the soliton radar is it doesn't last very long. The battery wears out very fast. And what I like to do, I like to get the ghosts into the bodies. That way they can't raise any alert phases. And I get a couple of soldiers in my unit, so that's always a good thing gonna try to get behind this ghost and get to the body the body is the priority and then we'll work on getting the items get that ghost back in that body that boy's boogieing boogieing back into his body all right so it's also good to have a channeler in this mission to see where the items are at if you're kind of blind and a little bit of a dumbass like I am so we had two items in that first area at the bottom of the cliff. We're heading to the top of the cliff and the last three items are going to be in this area. Let's get that soliton radar going. You can also analyze the guys to see if they got the skills that pay the bills. Get your punk ass back up in that body, man. Also, if you wanted to get the S rank, you probably could do this a lot faster by sneaking past the ghost, just getting the items and getting up out of here. But I want these soldiers. Alright, so we got one ghost left. This guy in the stairs has always been a problem for me. Let's see where he's going with his little path. Sometimes he'll just turn around randomly. Don't you turn around, don't you turn around on me. Put your ass back in your body. Alright, there you go, you little sucker. Stop screaming. Get the fuck up out of my face. Alright, this is the last item. This mission should be done. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. You did it! Keep it up! Another one of those short and sweet, simple missions. Extra of 60 is done. Alright, so we did not do it fast enough with the S rank, but we did get an A rank. Like I said, you could do this mission a lot faster by sneaking past the ghost. Alright, so let's go check Mother Base and see what's going on there. Alright, so the SVD has been developed as well as the Law and the Claymore, but not my Carl Gustav. So we got a couple more missions before we head into those mech battle missions. Let's check on our Carl Gustav. Where are you looking? 88%? It says 66%. I think we did maybe two or three missions, so in two or three missions time, it should be done. We'll get these smoke grenades started on their development. Box bomb. Yeah, we got enough to get the box bomb ready. So let's check on our auto ops teams, see if we can get some volunteers from them. Or maybe some design specs. Alright, one person got sent to the sick bay. How about Charlie team? Another person got sent to the sick bay. What the hell's going on? Alpha team, I know I sent them out into a dangerous mission. And we lost a mech and one person got sent to the sick bay. But it looks like we got that auto op completed. So let's go organize our team right here. Oh boy, Kite is ready for action again. Kite. I didn't notice this, but you got a higher skill in the intel team. Huh. Kind of want to put your ass in the intel team. You've been in the damn combat unit. You got taken out twice. I'm afraid for your life, Kite. I'm not going to put you back into the combat unit. We're going to uh, put somebody else in your place. We're going to get these spies set up. 
got a couple of extra guys down here. Researcher, nurse, spy. Let's get these spies set up. We got a couple of good soldiers right here. A couple of good POWs right here. Nurse, get you set up. Your R and D guy. You are a mess hall person. Five star chef. Let's get those five star rations. There we go. The future curry is in development too. Those are the best health regener items in the game. So we got Gorilla, who's probably not gonna go back to the combat unit. We got space for two more. So we'll send you two guys into the combat unit. And that kite, you'll just be waiting here. Actually, we gotta get rid of a couple of guys on the R&D team. So that's another D rank gone. You're fired. Let's get rid of another mess hall D rank. You're fired. We got some D ranks in the medical team. You're fired. And hopefully two in the intel team that we can get rid of. That's the voice actress, so we'll leave her and the two scouts, D ranks. Let's go. Y'all done. You're fired. All right, so that's it. Let's organize R and D. See if we got anything else developed. We got the magazine, the Mosinagant, which needs to be developed first. We don't have enough for anything else. All right, so we definitely need some more R and D going on. So I'm going to go find some volunteers and then we're going to do another mission. Alright, so we're looking for another mission that is not a mech fight and this is it. Hold up. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. Alright, so we definitely do need to use the sneaking suit. Let's make sure we are doing that with Miss Terrier. Sneaking suit. The weapons don't matter because we're going to get a banana. <laughs> the banana. That's a good way to level up this gun. Get control of all the enemies by holding them up. Hold up all enemies. If you're discovered, the mission's over. Alright, so I checked my mini-map to see if there were any items don't in this move. area that I need to collect. And that Chandler skill is so important and so valuable, like this sucker with that B wreck and then eats. But that Chandler skill told me that uh, we got some kind of something in that shed in the back area. This guy's looking at me. Helicopter is complete. He's looking at me too much, so we're not going to be able to get Don't him. Move. Wait for him to turn around and we'll get his partner in the meanwhile. You ain't got no skills. You sit your ass down right there. Don't move. And don't move. Alright, this boy's a bum too. Alright, so we got two more dudes left in this area. This boy is blocking the way I need to go. Will you please turn around, you ugly sucker? I'm afraid to come around this damn counter. He's going to see me. Ignore the moving balaclava. Don't move. I appreciate it, you dumbass. I appreciate it. C rank. Medical team. Probably shouldn't take a blind guy in my medical team, but it is what it is. At least he's got those skills. All right, let's get this last sucker. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. All right, so we did have a confidential document, the M10. For the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. The M10 barrel jacket. That's what the BJ stands for. Nothing else. Hey, that was great. Can't wait to see what else you can do. Pretty quick mission done right there. We got a couple of extra soldiers into the unit. We did it fast enough to get that S rank on mission 036. I feel like I did that number already. Maybe it was 038. But I feel like I said that already. Anyway, we got the S rank. Alright, so I feel like the Carl Gustav should be developed after another quick mission. So we're going to go right back into the mission selector and do that. Alright, the next non-mech battle is this Claymore disarmament, so let's do it. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. Alright, so I do have the MVGs on. We're looking good right here. I'll take the Soliton Raider off. And uh, let's get this mission started. Pick up a 
Claymore. Approach it from behind. The NVGs are gonna come in handy in this mission where the Claymores kind of blend into the grass. So this is really the mission where the MVGs come in handy for the Claymore disarmament. You need to get behind this one. And you need to crouch, otherwise you'll accidentally walk over the Claymore and blow yourself up and fail the mission. Alright, let's see where this one is facing. Let's get around this way. I'm paranoid that I'm going to walk in front of it. I'm going to walk in front of it going this way. Ah, oh, come on, come on. All right, we got five left. One over here, and I think there are a lot in the back area. This one's facing to the left. All right, so we got four more in the back area. The music's bumping for this simple-ass mission. Man, I love the soundtrack in this game. I'm never going to be able to say it enough. Could have walked right in front of that claymore and blew up. Almost did, too. Two more claymores left. I think we got one on the top level and this one right here. Alright, let's get the last one. Get the hell up out of here. Alright, let me check. Yeah, I almost missed an item. Almost missed an important item in the back area. I don't think it's a camo. I think it's a design spec, so let's get that. Forgot all about this. I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I got this Chandler. The M1911 custom design specs. Alright, so let's get this last claymore. And let's get up out of this area. Probably should have did that at the beginning. Oh man, the MVGs ran out. Shit. Which way are you facing? Don't fail at the last one. Alright, here we go. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. Alright, so x drop 034 is complete. Another easy mission. Even though I had to go back for that design spec, I was able to do that mission fast enough to get the S rank, less than two minutes. Alright.